hi lovelies it's sets fashion welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i will show you how i made my maternity two ruffle mermaid dress i'm super excited about this look guys it wasn't easy trying to make these ruffles at eight months of pregnancy but we definitely pulled the look in total i used 50 yards of tool fabric to achieve the down pat ruffle flare of this dress with the base included for the upper part of the dress, I used two yards of crepe material and I also added a little part of the toe on the chest area. You'll need to take the following measurements to achieve this design. You need to measure your round bust measurement, your waist, hips, how long you want this dress to be and around your knee as well. Also, you need to determine the length of your two ruffle flare and here I started mine from around the knee area. After determining that, you then subtract the two ruffle flare length from the total dress length to get the top part of the gown length. With that being explained, let's go straight to the cutting. For the down base of the ruffle, I'll be cutting it in a flare manner. Because I want my flare to be very long, it's going to be difficult cutting it as one piece of a 360 degree flare. Since the length of fabric only comes in, three, in 60 inches. So I'll be cutting two separate pieces of a 180 degree flare and joining them together to get one large full circle flare. The first thing you're going to do is to arrange your fabric as you can see me do here. I first of all took one point of the fabric and folded into two giving it this triangular shape. You have to ensure that it is properly arranged and there is no fold anywhere. Since the flare base is going to be joined to the upper part from the knee point, you go ahead and divide your brown knee measurement by 3.14. Whatever you get is going to be the radius of this flare. From this point, you mark the full length of the flare. For me, I want mine to flow all the way down. So I'll be using the maximum length of this fabric as my length. Like so. For those that might be wondering, the length I used here, my maximum length is 48 inches. After measuring all that down, I'll just go ahead and cut everything out like so. Cut the length and then I'll cut the radius. And I'm going to cut two pieces of this. Take notes. I went ahead and I joined the two flare pieces together on both sides making it one full flare i joined one end of the piece to the other end as you can see me do here so guys i went ahead and i cut my tool into very long strips like i said i got 50 yards of tool to achieve this cloudy effect I cut about 12 inches in length and I'm going to be gathering it using one of my favorite foot which is the gathering foot. I also make sure to adjust my stitch to the highest which is 5. So guys this gathering foot makes my work so easy and fast. It gathers your fabric while it sews through. In case you're interested I got mine from baby sewing accessories on IG. I could leave a hand in the description box. So I'm just going ahead to gather my long strips of tool till I have a desired volume. By the way guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to do so by now. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. Just look at how rough this tool is. Like this foot is a must have. You need to get this because it's a lifesaver. Right now what I'm doing is I'm attaching a rough foot tool to the base of our flare which we joined earlier i'm just going ahead to attach it in circular motion leaving about two inches spacing in between each ruffle i'll just keep attaching it all around till i reach the end of my flare like this you have to go easy because it's kind of um tricky trying to attach this ruffle all around this flare you have to be patient with it you have to be calm don't tear your fabric <laughs> as you can see it's not easy i'm like really struggling to even see what i'm doing i just hope you understand you can see through the camera 
but just be patient. Going over to the upper part of the dress, I went ahead and placed my drafted basic bodies on my crepe fabric. Make sure the basic bodies is drafted according to your client's measurements. I made mine strapless, so I went down from the shoulder by 7 inches, which is why it looks like this. For the length, I went up by 3 inches from my knee point, just so by the time you attach the down part to this up part, it sits well because the down part has some weight due to the ruffle. After cutting the front pattern, I went ahead and also cut the back part, leaving my one and a half inch allowance where I'll be inserting my zip. I also slanted the up part so it sits perfectly behind. So guys, we've come to the end of this tutorial. This is the final look of my outfit. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos soon. Bye.